So this box is the last month of the subscription that my friend got me and I want to do an unboxing just so that you guys can see what the succulents look like. So the company is called Succulent Studios. It comes in a box like this. So in the past when I have gotten these like succulent subscription box things, they all came at the right time, like at the beginning of the month but they would come dead. Like they would come in the box dried up and dead and I had no way of like reviving them. So let's do this together. Oh, oh, these are alive. These are really, oh my God, these are the best ones that I've gotten. They're like, they're actually living <laughs> and they're not dried up and sad. Wow, these have a chance. Oh my goodness. So you're just gonna forward and free them. No, I am seriously impressed because, well actually hold on. I, okay, last month they gave me this plant. I remember I had this exact plant. They, they come with little cards so that you know the name of it and then they come with little like tips and tricks and stuff. Cute. All right, this is cute. But I already received this plant. I got this plant already, so I guess that they do repeats of succulents, which is kind of disappointing. I feel like I would want a different plant in every box. So that's a little weird, but I am happy that this one, I'm actually really happy that this one came alive. And I'm gonna do my best to take care of him. It is a Didos or Dedos. I have no idea how to pronounce this. This is my new succulent. And then the next one is this. It kind of reminds me of like a dorsal fin. You know what I mean? This is interesting. I've never gotten a succulent or seen a succulent like this before. It is kind of like wilting at the top, very like weak and like bending over, but it does have some babies inside. I don't know if you can see. There are some little babies, so there's hope that the succulent will survive. Oh, so this guy is called a flapjack. It does not look anything like the picture, but I guess maybe if I take good care of it, it'll bloom in that way. So yeah, these are my last two succulents that I got from that subscription box. I am very pleased with these two. I think that they have a chance to survive, but in the past, for the past two months that I got these boxes, the plants came dead, they came dry, there was no way of reviving them. So these are really, out of the three months, these are really the only two that I am satisfied with. So yeah, that is my mini review on the Succulent Studios subscription. Again, I didn't sign up for this, my friend signed up for it for me as a gift for my birthday. Thank you. And I have really, I mean, even though the plants have come dead and wilted, I do like the idea of these boxes. I just, it, I think it is hard for the company to ship out succulents and have them arrive on time, still healthy. These were actually a month late, but they are the most healthy plants that I've gotten from them. And I really like how they provide you with these cards that have the name of the plants and then also says like how to take care of the plants um, what kind of sunlight they need and like when to water them and then it also gives you like the description of how to find other plants that look like this in case you don't know the plants when you see them so yeah thanks for watching my little mini review on succulent studios the website is www.sucksdew.com <laughs> it literally is called sucksdew so it's www.sucstu.com. And yeah, I don't know, try it out for yourself if you're interested. It's not that expensive from what I know. Three months is really cheap and maybe you'll have a different experience from what I have had, but I'm just sharing what I experienced in the three months that I was subscribed to this website. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys soon.